This week, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders announced a new extreme version of his health policy. Extreme. It would nationalize one-eighth of the U.S. economy in what would be the biggest act of economic centralization in the history of the world. Medicare for All is tonight's loony left. <laughs> All right, so I just want to, th look, I know something about this. I, I was in the UK, I worked in the UK government, the National Health Service, which is a mild version of what Bernie Sanders is proposing here. We tried to reform it, it's too centralised, it's too bureaucratic, we failed. The, I just want to focus not on the idea and wouldn't it be, not, yes, I'm, I'm all for universal coverage, I've said that many times, there are different ways of getting there through the marketplace. Mm -hmm. This, just think about the operational thing here, right? He published this bill. This is about... Setting a budget, this is what they literally mean. For every hospital in America, every medical practice is going to have a budget set by the federal government. They're going to be paid on a quarterly basis by the federal government. Every single one. It's insanity. I think we're past insanity at this point with some of the policies that are coming out of the left. I mean, who, who cares? You don't need your private health insurance. Um, what I'd like to know is, you know, you have Medicare eligible candidates on the Democrat side. Are they on Medicare? No. <laughs> because if it's so great, they probably should be, Steve. But more importantly, these elected officials have these Cadillac insurance policies mm -hmm. right. that go on for a lifetime. So instead of Medicare for all, why aren't they campaigning for my health care for all? Because they're getting supreme health care. This is getting more and more crazy by the day. We're talking about putting 20 million seniors off of their Advantage program. We're talking about 181 million people losing their private health insurance, killing over a half a million jobs, and decreasing yes. the amount of income into families. It's, well, it's insane. I believe at the core of this, it is furthering the competition of who can give out the most amount of stuff to win the Democrat primary. Yeah. That's what this is really about. Mm -hmm. right. Who can promise the most amount of stuff to win votes? It is so beyond realistic, it's almost not even worthy of even analyzing the policy, similar to the Green New Deal. But unfortunately, it, it is deadly serious because it's now gaining traction in the U.S. Senate. Right. We're supposed to treat a complete national takeover it's of something that 108 million people have private health care that have millions of jobs? Of course not. But what is serious is the Democrat Party has no principles. They just want power. Well, it's Whatever they need it. to do to defeat Donald Quick, Trump to give out the most money. Last thought here. Well, as a Canadian, someone who was born and raised Canadian, I do not want universal health care in any way. It's such a it's such a spectacularly bad idea that it's passed the California legislature three times and even Governor <laughs> Jerry Brown vetoed it, saying there is no way we can afford it. If you can't do it here. Good point. Come okay, on. well, if you want more on that topic, uh, watch uh, Deep Dive on Fox Nation. Sign up for Fox Nation if you haven't done that already. We're going to be going into this Medicare for All insanity uh, tomorrow's edition of Deep Dive. All right.